Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and old Atari games right now, because we're going to be playing Enduro by Activision for the patch. Hopefully. We'll see. And there's a bit of controversy whether you have to complete, whether you have to get to five days mm. or you have to complete five days. Oh, I see. Uh, and somebody said the trophy pops up when you get to five days. Okay. So that indicates you only need to get to the fifth day. Hmm. But in the manual, it says you have to get through five days. But it also says when you see the trophy, you get the patch. So, so what triggers the trophy? Same t-shirt. Oh, sorry. Oh, you should have changed it. Oh, well. What are you going to do? What did you miss? <laughs> you missed nothing. Yeah. You missed the whole first part of the show. But so I'm going to read out We're playing Enduro names. now. Pull out your Enduro. We are... Uh, Warm up that CRT, stick in bing. that cart. Yep. Come or play with us. Just run Stella. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Yes. Let's email Activision support. You yes. Should. <laughs> uh, 8 bit Swami, Alan the Firearms Card Coder, Atari Age Zero, 6502 Bomberman, Pierre Pocock, Buck Owens, Charles and Check, Charles Glue, and Chai 5, Coconut Dianoid, Dan, Andrew Darling, Dan, ABC Drexel, Dr. Mookows. I'm your Dan Great Defender Ground Trooper, I suppose the Jedi Kai, Johnny W. C. Carl G. Croco, Mark Spacek, Metal Lunar, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic Pack Rat, Quahog RC70, Rendered Ghost, Rentless Fiji, Ricardo Pim, Our Siddle, Smitty B. Socrates, Spicer S. Ramirez, The D Train, Washman 89, Tiki Dan K, Tim Lee Lamphere, Trek MD. I wonder if I could do that all in one breath. I had to do two and a half there. I bet two I could. Two and a half, yeah. That is a Pixel Tarot it card. It is. No, it's the Four of Cups. But it is Pixel. <laughs> it, it, I bought it because I saw it when I was buying some of VHZC's t-shirts. Um, and um, it basically is Pixel knocking over glasses of wine, which felt really, really personally appropriate. Yep. So. <laughs> it definitely is. Uh, and the Four of Cups stands for apathy oh, in a... the presence of opportunity. So basically being offered eh. something and just being like, meh, meh. So I, I just, I just really liked it. So, but many, it, it does look exactly like. How many patches did Activate exactly like Activision it. make and yeah. distribute? Well, I do have that on my page, mm. um, on Atari age. And there are 43 original patches. I've earned 23 of the 43. Mm. So I have 20 to go. This is one of them. <laughs> um, so I'm getting down there. I've done all the easy ones now. Now it's the hard ones. Now you're getting to the, the tougher stuff. I've got them on the shelf up here. Oh, all yeah. the ones I don't know that if I need you can, to do. No, you can't see it. You but he see. has them all at the top there. Do you want to bring them down? Yeah. Do you have them like grouped by the ones you've completed? No. These are the ones I have not completed. I wonder. I, some of them I don't have, but there's only a couple I don't have. Mm. So, Kaboom, Hero, Dolphin, Star Master, Crackpots, Grand Prix, Dragster, mm -hmm. Decathlon, Laser Blast, Pitfall 2, Robot Tank, Space Shuttle. I know Pitfall 2 is easy, but I just haven't done it yet. So, and I think there's like two more that I don't actually have. Mm, gotcha. I meant in the number of units. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows that. I'm sure it's lost to time. Um, how many they actually gave out. Mm. Um... I just logged into Activision support, but the oldest game they offer is for Tony Hawk's first game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it goes all the way back. I think there's a cutoff cool. point some at some point, probably around 92 when they discontinued all these Ataris. Yes. Uh, Kaboom, I'll never get that one. I got to 2000 something and you need 3000. I know I will get it, but it's so hard. It gets oh, crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, Brutal. Yeah, sure. So, I think we're just going to... Straight into Kaboom. Yeah. Hello. Not Hello, into everyone. We're not playing Kaboom. Straight into Kaboom. Enduro. Enduro. <laughs> I just saw Kaboom, Kaboom on the screen. Okay, and we are going to go over the Enduro Basics while not you go through all it. all the Enduro Basics. We're not talking about the joysticks. And With not... power off, plug-in no. game cartridge. No, don't read those. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to know everything. Do you need those instructions, anyone out there? No, nope, it's already plugged in. Cart's already in. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good there. Um, okay. Let's see. 
think we're all good to go. Okay, we can talk about the road busters, though. Oh, it's too loud. It's very loud. Yeah. Just turn everything down just a little bit. I do like how the uh, cars do look a little bit like they're racing spiders. Now, I do forget how to play this. Oh, I was using the pedal last time. Oh, you were using the pedal. Well, we'll try it. Let's see how that goes. There used to be a breakfast cereal called Kaboom. Interesting. Really? Did it have anything to do with um, the game? Who knows? Um, I don't think there's any Activision games made into cereal. Is a pedal kosher? Well, it doesn't say yeah. it's not. Uh, not. Cafe Man says one of its top three 2600 games. This kaboom one? or this one? Enduro is pretty, sure pretty awesome. I think there's more love for Kaboom than Really? Yeah, I like people, Enduro. People really I'm not talk a big Kaboom, Kaboom fan. I, I Kaboom hard. is just terrifying to me. It like, just it gets just, too hard too fast. Yeah, it, it really does. But there's some people who can... Oh, cutting it too close. Um, some people can just play Kaboom forever. Because okay. there's a pattern where you die just before you get it each, each thousand points. <sighs> oh, yes. We've watched a few, like... Um, Experts. Experts play it and going for high scores, and it's 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 pretty impressive. <laughs> it's because you get an extra life every time, or an extra catcher. Yeah. Every time you get a thousand points. Yeah. Ah! And I do need practice. It's good. The first level is easy. Yeah, it kind of gets you back into it a little bit. Yeah, you're right. We did use the pedal. Should I grab the pedal for a second? Uh, you're gonna try it like this first. Oh, uh, maybe I'll use the pedal next game. Okay. Love that background. It's beautiful. Okay, how to become... Oh, sorry. Join the Activision R Roadbusters. Do you have the drive, the stamina, the grit to endure this race for five days or more? If so, an on-screen racing trophy will pop up before your very eyes. Right. Now you can join the Roadbusters and really start breaking records. Send a photo of the TV screen showing your winning race results along with your name and address to your nearest Activision distributor. A complete listing closed. We'll send you the official high performance emblem. So it says the trophy's on the screen. Take yes. a photo of your score. Yes. With the trophy. With the trophy. And you get the badge. And that's what it says. It just says five days or more. So you must you must have to hit day five. I don't know. That's it's day one. I guess you just have to hit, you just have to see that trophy come up. Yeah. So we'll you, we'll just find out if it you know comes up at day five or somewhere Big along terribly. the way. Yeah. Big terribly. It's okay. You always need a few practice runs. Practice runs in there. Get into the hang of it. How to become a roadster? Tips from Larry Miller, designer of Enduro. Larry Miller is a powerhouse game designer with a PhD in physics. When he isn't designing games, he may be sailing, skiing, or playing the piano. I, l I love how you have like the whole like uh, personal bio. profile and bio of, of, of the game designer. His most recent hit was Spider Fighter. Ooh, another good game. Very good game. Yeah. Uh, the best way to outlast other drivers is to pace yourself. You won't survive long if you stay at maximum speed because you'll keep hitting the other cars. Go only as fast as it takes to pass the required number of cars each day. If you can choose between steering into the side of the road or hitting another car, always steer into the roadside. Right. It's just a minor setback and you won't lose as much time. Also, it's always better to go around diagonally paired cars than to squeeze between them. But if you must squeeze between them, keep your speed just above theirs and be careful. Here's another tip. If you approach a group of cars that are really blocking the road, slow down. Let them disappear back into the distance ahead of you, then accelerate. When you meet up with these cars again, they will have probably changed their positions. Mm. I hope you enjoy the National Enduro as much as I enjoyed designing it. Drop me a card from your next pit stop. I'd love to hear from you, and please remember to fasten your seatbelts. Oh. I love the fasten your seatbelts right. because of that the, is of the eighties or of the eighties where it was a thing. Like it was a thing to have seatbelts and use them in the eighties or not use them. Well, kids had to, but I don't think parents did for a while. There was a transition period where there kids was. had to. Yes, kids and cars had to wear them, but I don't think parents did. And I think it depended on what 
whether you were in the front or the back, like, oh. or maybe it was the opposite. Maybe people in the front seat had to, I don't know. There was some weird transition. I vaguely remember that from being a small child. Um, anyway, I digress. I don't remember specifically. I just remember there were different rules at one point. Well, you were... I was very young. Very young. Because didn't the transition happen in the late 70s? Uh, uh, late 70s or Well, 80s? that's when they started it. People really didn't wear seatbelts until the mid-80s, as far as I remember. Yeah. And I remember my dad not wanting to wear a seatbelt. Um, so a lot of people resisted it. Um, of course, there's memes going around now where mm. it's like, oh, if, vaccine, if, if seatbelts laws came into being now would be like people resisting it. it's like well that's well, actually what happened that is what happened people, people didn't want to wear seatbelts don't seat belts. like change no. no matter what it is people no. always resist late 80s i think front seat had to back seat didn't oh. but i have a feeling children had to wear them i don't know why but right. i think in the well, during the transition if you were below a certain age you had to be in a car seat or, or have a seat belt or something it's probably easier to convince parents to keep their kids safe yeah than them so they're like oh let's try it with the kids first and but i could be wrong i i, I don't know i remember being forced to wear seat belts at a certain point in time but and i'm pretty sure at an age where I, now you would have to have a booster seat do you know what i mean like like uh yeah like you had to wear a seatbelt, but it probably wasn't actually helping you when you were that small. <laughs> oh, the 80s. Good times, good times. Uh, Larry Miller, also a funny comedian actor. <laughs> um, Different Larry Miller? I think so. Oh, there's a photo of Larry Miller, but it's not on, on the, the typed up version of this. Okay, so let's find some more information about Endure. Two left. Okay, I'm getting out the... You want me to play? Yep. I... In a second, I'm going to get out the... Uh, oh. Pedal. Is it a reset? Yep. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. I'm getting out the pedal first. Oh, am I using pedal? I yeah, thought you, you were getting to. it out for yourself. Do you want to use the pedal? Um, Sure. Let's see now. Okay. Oh my gosh. My business partner's father and brother died in car accident and he still refuses to wear a seatbelt. Oh, really? Wow. So I have to listen to the dinger in his truck every time he talks on the phone while driving. Why? Jeez. I would put the seatbelt on just to get rid of the dinger. Wow. Wow. Some people... No button restart. I know. Sadness. Which is which, do you recall? Uh, I think it's just the right one. Uh, number three, yeah. Yep. Okay. Some people would put the seatbelt on behind them. No, I already reset it. You can just press the button. Here. Some people would put the seatbelt behind them. What is um, going on? So no. right with the button, press the button. No. What is the... The third thing is brake. What is? The third pedal is brake. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because you didn't tell me what oh. what it was controlling. And oh. I'm like, what is going on here? Okay. Sorry, I didn't understand. Does the pedal make the game tougher? I think it makes it easier because oh, in the game... Sorry. You have to press down to brake, which kind of interferes with your, with the steering left and right. So if you use the pedal, it keeps the steering to the joystick and the, the braking and accelerating off of the joystick, so you're not having to press down. And I think it makes it a little bit easier. Now it's not couch compliant. Actually, it is couch compliant a bit. The game doesn't start until you press the accelerator in the game. I'm not used to hitting the brake, though. I don't know why it's... But we played it before with the brake. It's always just the brake, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tried it with the accelerator, and it was like... Did we not play it with the accelerator? We did. Yeah. 
That's what I thought. And I'm I like, you... but I didn't like it. And I turned it off. Did you? Yeah. When we were playing it? Yeah. I thought we played it with the accelerator. I'm. I'm. I don't think I used the button. Okay. I, I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think we played it. I think the other ones are mapped to accelerator as well. Um. No. No. Definitely not. No. This. I haven't changed it so much since we played it. I, I, it's weird to have just the brake on the foot. Are you sure that's how we played that's it exactly last time? exactly how we played it last time. I don't believe you. Well, I can switch it over. I swear we. I swear I used it with the accelerator. At first we did, and I switched it off. Because I was having too much trouble with I two feel feet. like I, I need to go back through the footage and see if that's true. <laughs> it is. It doesn't feel it's true, true to me. I remember it. I remember it very clearly. I don't remember these things. It's fine. <laughs> It just feels very odd to just have the break. Uh, I thought so too. That's why we didn't do it at first. I thought, oh, well, gas and it's. I've not even touched the brake this whole time. Like. Well, you don't normally touch the brake too much. That's the, that's the thing. You just touch it when it's uh, it's an emergency. Or to or to slow down in the fog. There's no point. It's weird. I also don't believe you. Let me switch it to accelerator mm -hmm. as well? Well, it doesn't matter. Or just accelerator. What do you want? Well, no, I would want both. The accelerator and the brake. I can do that. It's just weird. Which one do you want accelerator? Left? The left, yeah. Done. I'm not sure I'm doing much better. I'm gonna die. You are going to die. It's okay, it always takes a bit of time. Ah ha ha! Um, not even close. This is super weird. Oh, you mean the other websites. Gosh, this is terrible. Yeah. My turn. I want to know how we played it before. That feels Here's really weird. Here's a website of tips. I think this is an addition to the joystick. Let's see. No, it's not. Okay. I don't even know how you want to. I don't know either. I don't. So you got to slow down quite a bit yeah. because you just can't steer fast. What it does is slows down your steering so you can't move very fast mm. left and right. That's all this does. The nighttime is actually the easiest because the hitboxes of the enemy cars yeah. are just the lights. The bodies of the cars don't count. They're not like black or anything. Oh yeah, that's true. So actually, nighttime is is easier to get to pass. Ah, oh, it's easier to to pass. pass Sun setting is just the same as normal. It's just a little bit dark in the horizon. Stop it. The higher levels, the way they get harder oh, is when you crash, more cars pass you. 
good birth there. Good one. And there's like 20 cars that pass you on level 4 when you crash. So just, you cannot crash. Mm. Oh my god. What is that noise outside? Is it raining? It must be. It is, yeah. Constant noise. Very distracting. I'm gonna die in level one. Okay. No, no. Um, are you gonna read out the tips and tricks that I found? Uh, yeah. You're looking for the video. I'm just trying to see what. Uh, That's what's going on. Over I can't there. listen to it though, so it doesn't really help. Okay. I can't tell if I'm pushing the button or not. So no. Uh, tips and tricks, hints and strategies. Minimum score required in Enduro by Activision for the Atari 2600 to earn the Activision patch was survive through the fifth day. Through the fifth yes. day. Yes. That's what that page says. Yes. Okay. Make sure both difficulty switches are set to B. Always are. Enduro, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I hope they are. See, this says once you've reached day five, you will notice a trophy cup next to your counter. Yes, that's the controversy. And what does it say? That doesn't say anything? No, it just says that you'll see a trophy. Okay. But, but he also says on that page that you have to complete day five. You can also fluctuate your speed while encountering cars. Yeah, there's nothing here that's that's anything new. Okay. Nope. Nope. So it says the exact same conflicting information. It doesn't say much of anything. Uh, need some definitive answers. Somebody phone activated. They'll be like, who? What? What game? We'll figure it out. We don't have that game. <laughs> well, it's probably going to put the trophy when we reach day five. And, and then... it still doesn't mean you get the patch. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. Wikipedia is pretty light on details for 2600 games. Well, this says a lot. Yeah, for Enduro? Yeah. Oh. Tell you what's in there. Oh, actually, it's not that much. Um, enduro consists of maneuvering a race car in the National Enduro, a long distance endurance race. Uh, repeat all this. The driver must avoid other racers and, and pass 200 cars on the first day and 300 cars with each following day. As the time in the game passes, visibility, visibility changes as well. Uh, when it is night in the game, the player can only see the oncoming car's taillights, which it, actually, this is my favorite part. Yeah. I think it just looks cool like looking. little animal eyes coming yeah. for you. Um, <laughs> as the days progress, cars will become more difficult to avoid as well. Weather and time of day are factors in how to play. During the day, the player may drive through an icy patch on the road, which would limit control of the vehicle, or a patch of fog may reduce visibility. If a player succeeds in racing five days or more, five days or more, 
An on-screen racing trophy pops up. Yes. So it's when the trophy pops up. That's yeah. what matters. So the moment you see the trophy, but it says five days or more. And I don't know if they mean you reach the fifth day because your first day is, the, it says one on your first day. At the end of five? One, two, three, four. Right. That's four days if you hit day five. You should have to hit the sixth day to pass through the fifth day. That's very vague. I don't yeah. like that language. That's, that's it, really weird. I know weird. that's the problem is the language. Yeah. When the player reaches 999,999 points or kilometers, the game will oh, reset and start from zero. And then the game has no end and will continue no racing end. forever. In 1983, oh, in Canada you had to get to day seven. I don't, I don't understand. No. What? <laughs> what? Did, is that in there? No. <laughs> Kathy Man 2D. Oh. <laughs> In 1983, Activision ran the Enduro Race for Riches sweepstakes. The grand prize was a Datsun 280ZX pace car and okay. a trip for two to Caesars Palace Grand Prix weekend. Okay. That sounds decent. Yeah. A Datsun. A Datsun. <laughs> Is that a good car? Or I don't like... know. The second prize was a Datsun 200SX hatchback SL. The third prize was a trip for two to Caesars Palace Grand Prix weekend. The fourth prize was one of 50 radio-controlled cars. Oh. The fifth prize was one of 500 Activision Grand Prix video game cartridges. Oh, if you're already good at it, you already have one. Yeah. Get, and the sixth prize was one of 2,000 Datsun racing posters. What was the contest? Did you have to be somewhere? You just send in your score? It just says it was a sweepstakes. So oh, I'm guessing you, you didn't just have to had do to. Anything. Yeah, you just had to. So you may not have the game. Send already. in a, a ballot, an entry. Yeah. Haha, yeah. <laughs> metric days in Canada. I, 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 knew, I knew that's what it was. <laughs> because of liters and kilometers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, um. Reception. Enduro received the award for 1984 Best Sports Video Game oh. at the 5th Annual Archie Awards, where judges praised it for featuring some of the best graphics presented by a 2600 and boasting an intriguing concept. Yeah, it's really good graphics for the time. Yeah, Computer and Video Games reviewed the game in 1989, giving it a 77% score. Yeah. Legacy. In 1985, Activision released the Great American Cross Country Road Race, a home computer game that follows the design of Enduro, but with enhanced visuals, audio, and some additional gameplay elements. Enduro was later released as part of Activision's Atari 2600 Action Pack 2 in 1995 and as part of the Activision Anthology Collection in 2002. Of course it is. Of course it is. Anything else? Nope. Nothing else. Oh, platform also released on the ZX Spectrum. Really? Yeah, oh. that's what it's saying. Oh my God! No! 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 I mean, I'll make it now. Yep. Yeah. Released by the Atari Twenty Six Hundred on February First, Nineteen Eighty Three, and on the ZX Spectrum uh, in Nineteen Eighty Four. It doesn't give it an exact date. So. Ah, damn it! No! No! Oh. oh no! <laughs> Charles says. Okay, your turn. My turn. Okay. Do you want to use the foot pedal or no? Not? Or do you have it just on the uh, brake no. again? No, no, no. Just leave pedal? it. Leave it. Leave it the way it is. I'll just get used to it. Thank you. Did better. <laughs> Did even better the next time. The secret is don't crash. That's it. Whatever you do, get out of crashing. Is it treat time? Nine minutes to treat time. Nine minutes? Oh my goodness. <gasps> no! 
<laughs> you can crash on the first level. No, but I don't times. want to. Just slow down. I know, I'm going too slow, I think. Norm MacDonald died today. What? Yeah, that's everybody's reaction. But, what? He had cancer for nine years. What? And didn't say anything to anyone. Are you serious? Yeah, except his close friends, right? That's crazy. Yeah. Was he making appearances in the last little while? Yeah. Yeah, he was scheduled to do oh that that big New York show, the New York Comedian Show. Oh, with um, Pete Davidson that he was yeah. he was talking about? Yeah. Or no, Pete, no. Uh, Just a ton of comedians. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's very, that's very sad. So, it's sad because you don't necessarily realize... Uh, that he was sick or anything you yeah. know he just he didn't he, he said he didn't want uh anybody treating him any differently well i i mean i understand that he's he's everybody in the public be like, eye there'd be a big tribute and there'd be all this stuff and he'd have to talk about it yeah. wherever he went i could to totally understand that well if you're you know an older celebrity yeah yeah i can totally understand that you'd get sick of it and you, you, you know, wouldn't want to constantly want... be talking about it right yeah yeah and that's all that would happen is, is people talk about it. But it's like a massive shock to everyone. Yeah. Online. Because it's like, what? No one knew he was even Looked sick. Looked fine. Obviously. Like, what? Nine years, though. That's a long time. Yeah. I can't remember. Did it say what uh, condition he had? Or? I can't remember. Oh, poor dude. I had not heard that. Yeah. Um, He's definitely one of my favorite comedians. Because yeah, um, he's so weird. So weird. <laughs> His sense of humor was like no one else's. Yeah. It's just so like you just talk about the strangest stuff. Yeah. But it's more, it's less about the jokes and more about the way he told the jokes. Yeah. He told them like nobody else told him. He was meandering and the, the punchlines weren't like funny punchlines. They were just like they were just odd off and, and odd, and you'd kind of laugh almost out of <laughs> out of like discomfort, you know? Yeah. yeah, I know, I know what you mean. But yeah, he, he yeah. was super, super awesome. I, and I would I watch compilations of his not, stuff all the time. Yeah, I did not hear that. Uh, thank you for. And um, if you haven't seen it, you should watch his appearance on the last. Uh, I know. Letterman show. Um, it was very, very good. And I believe he told a joke that Letterman once told, and he does it, does it really well. Two, one, yay! <gasps> so close. Oh my gosh. The moth bit is just fantastic, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Remember, you can't crash. No. Furniture, please. Come on. There we go. Hi. Hi, Pixel. How are you? See the cats? <clears throat> the cats now hang around while we play. Yeah. Because they know that there's <laughs> treats every once in a while, right? No. Oh. You have to go a little bit slow. Five minutes, RC70 says. RC70 is ready with his clicker. Oh. How many so well. uh, channel points do you have, RC70? Oh, he's like, can been, you do he's it like forever? He's been loading them up. <laughs> <laughs> loading them up for years. Fatten up. Uh, he's here to fatten up the cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, slow down. He, Better than crashing. I can't move side to side as fast nope, as I think I can. You cannot. It's so slow. You have to give yourself so much room. Seventy-one thousand. So you can feed the cats a lot. <laughs> That's uh, pretty fat Atari. Yeah. Oh, I knew I that was happening. Don't think you're right. It's so many. <laughs> Three hundred is such a large number of cars. 
I don't know how I did it before. Ah! <laughs> I, it's, I'm did not... Did you make it? Past yeah. level two? Oh, God, yeah. I did a lot better. I just, uh, I think I played a fair amount. Oh, yeah. And I was dodging an awful lot. All about dodging. You gotta get the speed up and dodge and dodge and dodge. But it takes a little while to get used to it if I... Like, if you don't crash and maintain a lower speed... Yeah. You can do fine. But if you can crash once at that lower speed, you're done. Yeah, you're so done. you can you can play the game either like two ways: go very fast and crash maybe once, or go a little bit slower. Ugh, I yeah. don't like I, it, this. Keeps sliding away from my foot too. Like I don't know. No. It's not very good on the floor. It's only 14 treat times, but I get more every episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's true. If, I, I mean, I when you watch them and you, if you completely forget that, you actually amass bits sometimes. Yeah. And you're like, oh, look at all the bits I have. I was going to make an, a, a pop-up thing for finding a bug in a game. Oh. But I didn't. I ran out of time. Um, but I don't want people to have that option. Oh, God, there's no way because you can Because I only want it on the screen when there's, a, when there's a bug. Crazy. I'm going way too slow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way too slow. I'm trying to avoid get hitting. Times too. But it doesn't matter if you crash. Like it slows you down, but you you or have to go matters. fast. You cannot crash. No, no, I, I disagree. I, I know I made it a lot. You have to go fast. You can't go no. too slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go fast. You have to go fast. A certain I was speed. trying to go slow thinking like I'm I'm didn't crash that much. Oh, <sighs> Emote modifications. It's true. <laughs> we didn't even think of putting more stuff in. No, but now we've got a couple. Did we things. do a treat time? No. Oh, he said. He said a couple minutes. A couple minutes. Oh, what? This is almost screwed all the way off. Trouble. D train also shocked about the Norm Macdonald information. I know. I I mean I work all day and I'm not I'm not checking the news so and then I come right here and I start playing games so I don't hear any of the news from the day. <laughs> if there's anything else, please let me know. But um, mm. not, not no celebrity news. <laughs> no, oh that's sad though. It is. Oh. I, I I can he, I think he was a favorite of a lot of other comedians. Seem to really like Norm. Yeah, he was a comedian's comedian. A comedian's comedian. So I I won't. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of tributes oh, yeah, right. put out. Yeah, I'll have to check all that out. Oh, that's sad. Oh, oh. did he move? Ugh. Yeah, there's like popular comedians and then there's comedians comedians yeah they don't usually do as well but like in terms of they're, monetary or popularity i think they're a little more innovative and so a little bit more abstract and yes. so people don't necessarily gravitate to them as much yeah but comedians respect their creativity and oh, yeah. and there there are definitely comedians who are respected more by other comedians than necessarily the public sometimes yes. and i think norm was one of those yeah Damn it. Cafe Mentidi, you need to find a comfortable pace and not wreck you can still <laughs> yes. win the first couple of days even if you wreck and don't push the speed too high yeah i i was going way too slow i was just trying to be really really careful and you have to be a little bit faster than that yeah But I think that's why you need a couple of rounds to get comfortable first. You do. To kind of like, okay, this is the speed I need to go to actually hit the 200 and the 300 and all that. You have to, you have to know your threshold of yeah. speed. You also got the sense that Norm really enjoyed absurdity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Someone who respects the absurdity of life. I, I, like, I like that type of comedy. Slower, too slow. Sneak up on you. Wow, in the dark. Good job. Yeah, not too bad. I crashed twice though. 
But I'm going a little bit faster now. So. Oh my gosh, you still have far to go to finish the level. You could just continually crash and crash. Well, what you do crash. is you just don't do anything. Yeah. You can just sit here. It's true. Take it easy. Actually, yeah. Because I don't care about points. No. People who go for points, then it's something different. Yeah, it's true. Just do a steady speed. And it's actually, you could just sit there and do that. Yeah, it's true. Because it's all about time. Norm passing. as Bob Dole was hilarious. I remember that. I remember Norm as Bob Dole. Yeah. If you get used to the controls too fast and beat it, it's not a good game. Yeah. It shouldn't be too easy. Or Burt Reynolds. That's his, probably the fan favorite on Jeopardy. Oh, Burt. Oh, he did Burt Reynolds. Oh, my God. You're right. He did. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, I caught the corner. You lose about five cars on this level. And it gets worse every level when you crash. It was like 5, 10, 15, or 20, actually. Who played Sean Connery? Oh, sorry. On the uh, on the Jeopardy episodes. He's the same guy who played Bill Clinton. I, I'd never learned his oh, name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Daryl Hammond, thank you, RC70. We're really uh, getting retro today. <laughs> Back to the 80s and 90s. Metal Lunar, we never resolve that. We're just waiting to see if if it we get the trophy, the trophy when we hit. It is about the trophy. It, if if yes. you get the trophy when you hit day five, or you have to get through day five, it's still not resolved. Because it says send a picture of the trophy with your score in. Yeah, so it's the trophy that matters. So whenever you hit the trophy, that's when you've gotten the uh the badge i love those snl years the 90s yeah you know so, so we we had this discussion about how everyone's favorite decade or season of snl is related almost always teenage. back to their early teenage preteen years um and yeah the late 80s early 90s are like my some of my favorite SNL years. I don't like SNL. So. You keep saying that. <laughs> I only like good skits. I yeah. don't like SNL. Yeah, some of the skits are it's, awful. There's some pretty terrible The best stuff. ofs are the best. <laughs> yes. That's what people really think yeah. SNL is, but try and slog it out. I'm, there's a video online. Oh, yeah. He where somebody watched a whole season of mm. SNL and... and Oh, no, he watched. No, he, watch he picked four or five episodes from every season. Yes. Um, and I think he sometimes handpicked ones that he really wanted to watch. Yeah. But he kind of ranked the seasons based on four or five of each, and like how good or bad they were, which was kind of interesting. Still make it. But what I noticed is the the reviewer was younger, definitely younger so than, he, than he us. Not watch it very much. SNL. And so, so, you know, they were praising some of the older ones, but they really had like fond fondness for some of the newer seasons, which I haven't haven't even watched because yeah. I, I kind of stopped watching it in, for a certain period of time. So it just I think it really does come back to your sense of humor and your age and what you find funny. Like like yeah. your your sense of humor kind of changes. But yeah, I really did like the late eighties, early nineties era survival bias <laughs> yeah survivor bias yeah of the best ofs yeah oh what metal lunar exactly i remember when i was young hearing that it wasn't funny anymore since eddie murphy left it does depend on the age and it depends on your sense of humor yeah, there's a ton of garbage every season, RC70. Yes. And there's some gold. Like, there's yep. always a few really good episodes. I remember putting on SNL on that Justin Timberlake episode, and James was like, SNL's awful, blah, blah. And we put it on, and that particular episode of, what, the early 2010s? I can't remember when he did that. It might have even been earlier than that. Mm. Was actually really good. And it I wasn't remember. That long ago. It, no, no, it was. Mm. It was. Um, 
Justin Timberlake's old and now. every skit was amazing. Was really good, and James was like... It's because it's Justin He Trump. was very skeptical, because he's like, uh, well, I guess SNL. that one... I guess that one was okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, that Justin Timberlake one was excellent. JT was awesome, yeah. He had one episode that... All of it was really, really good. Yeah. Um, and you, you wouldn't think Justin Timberlake, comedic actor, but he actually was extremely oh, yeah. good. Extremely good. Well, he's, he is an actor. He's like, an that actor. That was after he's, he was on um, uh, the, the Facebook movie. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. I think, I think you're right. He's a very good actor. Dick in a box, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Lonely, Lonely Island? Lonely um, Island? Yeah. What about yeah. them? No, uh, they're Dick in a Box. Oh, that that yeah. was theirs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're awesome. Yeah, usually yeah. there's a, a pretty good percentage of hits with with the Lonely Island yeah. skits or yeah. songs. Yeah, they don't really do just skits. Kind of half skits, mostly song. Um, and what was the movie we saw with Adam Sandberg? Palm Springs. Oh my God, so good! Excellent, excellent film. Yeah, do not underestimate that he's in it yeah well no i like him but that film is excellent if you haven't seen it it comes highly recommended it's, sci-fi it's it's it's, it's sci it's yeah kind of sci-fi but it's comedy yeah uh and romantic <sighs> it's everything i don't really care about that part no but it it's very enjoyable and you go into it not thinking ah oh, is this going to be like other films and i quite liked it i've never even heard of it RC70, highly recommended. Very, very, very funny. I don't see how... Like, I think it would appeal to a lot of people. A lot of people. And I think it's a small film. It's not like a huge blockbuster film. It's very sort of simple. Um, And it has... um, Oh, that older actor who's awesome in every film he's in. Um, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is in it. Worth it just for that. He's amazing in everything. He's so good. (laughs) The D Train. Did you see Punch Drunk Love with Adam Sandler? Very recently, actually. You hadn't seen it. We watched it again. Yeah, it's. Or I watched it again. You saw it for the first decent. time. Yeah. His a- his acting is good in that. I'm not a big Adam Sandler fan though. He's got a lot of good stuff going for him. Yeah. Actually. Is it on any streaming channels? I think we saw it on Prime Video. I think it is. But I'm not sure. You might have to look it up and see where it is because it because those and Canada films is different too. those films jump around. I almost think I. I want to say it did end up on Netflix at one point, but um, you'll, you might have to just search for it. Go on justwatch.com and it'll tell you where it is. Yeah. Where am I at? What number? 12, 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, 4. Yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo. Just barely made it, Woo. though. Yeah, Sandler's good when he's given a good part direction. He's good when yes. he's serious. And I think that's true of a lot of comedians. Yeah. They really they're really sensitive to um, people's idiosyncrasies and when they're goofy sometimes they're over the top, but when they're being serious they can be really kind of insightful about characters. Yeah. Um, Will Ferrell's like that too, and it's yes. more when he plays it straight and, and Jim Carrey. Robin Williams. Yeah. Also was excellent at a at a slightly more serious character. Found it on Hulu. There you go. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Day four is tough. Yeah. Kathy mentioned what movie we were talking about? Palm Springs with Adams Adams. Andy Samberg. Adam Sam. Someone said Adam Samberg. Andy Samberg. Very good. Very good film. Oh, D Train. I just saw this movie with Mark Maron called Sword of Trust, and he was tremendous. Oh. Yeah, Mark Maron's good. I like Mark Maron. I haven't. I don't listen to his podcast or no. anything. I, I think I've listened to little bits, but I do like him. I'll have to look yeah. that up. He was in Glow. Mm. As the manager. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very good in that. Yeah, we only saw the first season, I think. I got, I lost interest in it. Yeah. Got very samey. Yeah, it was good though. Mark yep. Maron was excellent in that. Yes. Because he was just like the. 
guy didn't care too much. Obnoxious curm curmudgeon in it, and... Seventy. Robin Williams was better in dramas. Wasn't a big fan of his comedy. Yeah, I, I was okay at, his at comedy the was sometimes extremely insightful, but I I agree. I oh no 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 go 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 go. It's my first crash, but uh, um, can't mess up anymore. And I gotta go. I liked him. Yeah, I liked some of his comedy, but he could also be really silly. Just so silly, I found him. And when I was younger, I liked it a bit more, but yeah. I just found it too soon. No, 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 no. <laughs> First crash, crash is all it takes at this level. Really? Oh, don't say that. Don't say that, Metal Lunar. We're gonna still gonna try. Still gonna try. What if I go really fast? No, I it. can't. Yes, you can. I'll have to like go super speed at the end. Yeah, and I'll that's crash. fine. It, don't do it here. Oh, it's, I it's have to rough. go very fast. Everywhere I know. Now. Okay, now you need to kick it. go all out now. Oh. Got it. Okay, better, better. I almost made it up to level four. Uh, I'm not going to get that far. One more go and I think I'll have finished at least level four. Hmm. Yeah, that was almost it. Yeah. I just... One crash just threw me off, and then I had to speed. Oh no, just, it's only level one. I'm just... So ah, it's... I need to start pushing on the bridge. Still ambiguous. Let's see if I can find any more information about Enduro. Speaking of good shows, did you fi guys finish Hatch, uh, Halt and Catch Fire? We didn't we finish it. We have not finished it yet. We didn't finish season one, did we? <laughs> Almost got we there. We have to get through it, yeah. Yeah, there was some points where it got silly, and I think we stopped there when she's coding. And well, no, I don't think we stopped. I think we meant to keep going. We just haven't. Ugh, I need to break. It was this most... is driving me crazy. Well, stop moving it around. I'm not. Just it's keep sliding. your foot on the back there. Keep your foot I on can. your I'm heel gonna on the back. I can't. I'm going to keep my foot on here. Hey, don't crunch it. I will crunch it because I no. can't keep it, keep it from sliding away from my foot. They're I'm passing you. I'll reset it for you. Thank you. Mm. Do you want to not use this? I no, I want to use it. I just want it to stop sliding away. And you put your heel on there. No, no, because it. every time I go forward, it slides forward. I don't like it. <laughs> then stop using it. it Rage reset. Yes. What is going on? Oh, weird. <laughs> you have I'm, I'm, I'm just irritated now. Everything's irritating me. <laughs> Uh-oh. The cat's irritating you? They always irritate me. <gasps> no, oh, I'm dear. lying. They're wonderful. How oh, dare you. Speak ill of the cats. I do not speak ill of the cats. I only speak ill of you. <gasps> mm -hmm. Let's see. I think the coding stuff is intentionally cheesy. The show isn't really about that stuff in the long run. No, work. it's not. You no. can't really make a show about a dramatic show for the masses about coding <laughs> nobody's going to care about the coding no, no. 
sense. They're going to be like, what? You're doing what? You have to really dumb it down to broad strokes. So let's see. On collectdigipress.com, collector's corner. Let's see what it says for the patch. Um, for enduro. It says greater than five days on this. Mm. Mm. Which indicates you have to pass five days and go to number six. It's so good. I've rewatched it five times. Wow. Really? And there's a lot of good stuff in it. That's for sure. Um, 8 bit central. Game review. Let's see what they say. A lot of these are just parroting what they've read somewhere else. Mm, that's usually. Because people haven't done it. Um, let's see. Where's the patch information here? Hmm. This one says, if you raced for five days or more, a racing trophy would pop up on your TV screen. If you photographed the screen, Activision would send your Activision Roadbuster patch. And somebody in the chat said, it comes up on day five, not when you finish day five. Mm -hmm. mm. So is the instructions. Uh, GoodDealGames.com under Activision Patches, it says survive five game days. Which is not surviving four and getting to the fifth, it's surviving five. I feel that the cars in this game are not random. You can memorize the path between them. Maybe. If you have a very special brain, you can memorize them. I mean, it might be that because they always come in the same sequence. After but... two levels, there's 500 cars. Oh, I mean, God. It's 200, 300, 300, 300, 300. So, uh, theoretically, if you can count cards, maybe you can count cars. Depends if they have how they randomize it, right? Whether the randomization is just a repeating pattern or if it's actual randomization because it does get harder so you have to kind of keep track of what harder is um, and if they use something like an LFSR for randomization then there is a pattern it's just a very long possible long pattern you'd have to look at the code let me check on See if anybody has um, broken this game down. Why am I not remembering what that is? D. It's not decompiling. Oh, somebody help me out. D. It's not D anything, is it? feels a bit like Tetris to me. It's about being able to read the cars when they're... Yes, it is about Off reading the, the cars in the distance. Uh, disassembling, yes. I oh. need to know that word to be able to look it up. Disassemble. So hopefully somebody has done a disassembly of Enduro. And then I can read the part where it determines the cars. Assembly, 2600, Enduro. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there we go. Somebody did. You know, when you think you've, you're clear and you're not. Uh, let's see. Omega Matrix says he did a disassembly of Enduro. So now I'm going to look up Enduro and Omega Matrix. Oh, because he did a two-button hack for Enduro. Two-button hack? Where one button is the brake and one button's accelerate. And that's it? Yep. Of course, that's not the original game. So, can you get a patch using a hacked version of Enduro? I don't think so. You'd have to know that that's the only difference, the only change he did in it. Um... Which I'm sure that is the only change you did, of course. Source code is cheating. 
Well, we're only looking up patterns. There's no way I can even memorize a pattern if there is a pattern. That's that person across the street. That makes so much noise <laughs> for the dog. Oh. That's the noise they make. I haven't heard it in a long time, though. They get this dog riled up by making this high-pitched um, voice, and they get the dog really excited. Oh. Speaking of pets, <laughs> Pixel runs out of the room like it's a like like, like it's a he's problem. gonna get he's gonna get injured. Yeah, <laughs> like Atari's gonna like. Thank you, RC seventy. The cats. Thank you. Oh, it's like ding. That was a very defiant ding. He's like bam. Ah. Oh. It seemed too soon. Was it every? It's one every one hour, because the show is only two hours usually. The original, the normal show, or less. So if I made it every two hours, they'd only get it once. Bring it. There you go. Not a chance. I can't hit the three hundred. I know I passed it. The you last did? time we played, no. <laughs> the last time we played. I was able to do it, but I think I'm just, my, my pace, my normal pace is just not just, fast enough. Yeah. I have to be a lot faster. 63 is awful. Come on, once more. Yeah. That Come seemed on. too soon. Was it every two hours? Treat time's he, over. He was going to go after pixels. Bad. Bad kitty. Treat time's kitty. over already? Oh. Well, you can give them more if you want. No, no, no. He's a bad cat. That's his third. That's today, his third so. set of treats. They shouldn't be too many. Okay. All right. Have a good night, D train. Night, D train. Yeah. This is my probably my last attempt. Yeah. <laughs> See if you get the trophy on. Uh, yeah. Day. Uh, day five right away or not? It's good to practice in the beginning. Super fast speeds. Mm. So I think you have to do. To make up a lot of time right here at the beginning yeah for day like three and above or four at least mm. in a really fast pace i think they give you more curves um in later really? levels too because that Ooh. was a long straight away. that's brutal i'm gonna pay attention to that because here's another long straight away yeah and it's really easy to dodge I mean, and there's more cars in there. James came reasonably close to I the was, end of four. Yeah, if I didn't crash three times on level four. Yeah. Ah, yeah, going too fast for ice. That's okay. It's Level one's a good one to practice your speed. Yeah. Your pace, I guess, would be the right term. Yeah. You can accelerate and decelerate just as fast on ice mm. as normally. Or very, very close. And they seem to be sharper turns. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, are they? Is there two different types of turns? I don't know. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, I couldn't break in time for that. Hmm. Yeah, level one's much easier because it's only 200 cars. Mm -hmm. During the break, Tanya told me she's going to play the new game right after. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Littlewood. I'm very excited about Littlewood. Um, we weren't around earlier. We got this from Super Rare Games. And James got it for me. Oh, we didn't get it. From him. We paid for it. Well, no. <laughs> we we yeah. picked it up from. Yeah. Um, yeah. It seems like a world building game. Yeah. Hard to say. In that cute pixel art kind of nostalgic look. Yeah. Um, very Animal Crossing, that? very Minecrafty. Not Minecraft. Well, I don't know. It's it, well, I'll, I'll find out when I start playing. But yeah, yeah. I saw the video of it and I'm like, oh, ten. Like this. Yeah, yeah, I do like this game. <laughs> when it popped up that yeah. they were gonna sell it. Yay, day one! It's very cute. Mm -hmm. um, breaking and accelerating. Accelerating takes um, precedence. So I can see if you panic. You're gonna accelerate. You're gonna break. accelerate, yeah. 
Like all the old people going through windows of stores. Have you kept all these super rare cards? Yes. For reselling value. For reselling so you keep them sealed? Uh, that one I do, yeah, because they're sealed. The ones from Limited Run Games come not sealed. Oh. Because I don't really care to look at the cards, so yeah, why would I open cute. it? As if I'd ever sell a game. Yeah. I've never sold a game in my life. I've only bought them. Actually, I did sell a bunch of Vectrex doubles. Well, doubles are different. Because I bought a set. Like a... Um, a not a set, a, a Vectrex lot on eBay once. Oh, that's right, yeah. To get the um, 3D goggles. Yeah, we have 3D goggles. <laughs> Um, Which you cannot show off on Twitch, unfortunately, but uh, it'd be you can show what they look like. Challenging to show yeah. those off. Um, so I sold off pebbles when I did, when I bought that because I don't need that many tricks games. They feel vaguely like a turn of the century medical device. <laughs> How they, they function and everything—it's really funny. And they have tr centrifugal uh, force as well because yeah. <laughs> they spin a disc. Metal Lunar 7, did you actually get to day 5 when you were playing recently and the trophy appeared and Metal Lunar 7 said, nope. Oh. <laughs> I never got to day 4. Okay, oh. it is it is not easy. No, it is. And RC70 says, I regret selling every game I ever had in my teen years. Money exactly. was more important then. No, it's never more important. You can, get a, you can always get money soon. <laughs> Games are number one. Oh my god, what is happening here? can always buy games back at a higher price at a higher well <laughs> depending on when but yes yeah usually usually a higher price no don't crash or you can wait for the big bubble to burst each time yeah unless you had a rare game and then it just keeps going up and up and up, and up. forever and ever mm. charles wheelan no crash <laughs> yeah, <that's what> sure <laughs> sure <laughs> RC70, my friend still has his 2600 and C64, but he doesn't even care about them now. <laughs> oh. No, you gotta get what? back into it. You gotta show him all the homebrew that's coming that's out for right. both systems. That's right. Like, there's some really good uh, homebrew for C64 and, of course, 2600, but we already know that. And you have to embarrass your kids by playing really old games and watching streamers on Twitch play those really old games. Yes. You say, "Oh, I'm gonna watch some gaming on Twitch," and, and they'll then, be like, "What?" What? You're gonna and, watch and, and they're and you're Twitch? you're playing these, you know, these these. And they're like, "What are you watching?" What are you watching? <laughs> Big blocks on the screen. <laughs> Chunky old Pickle, pixels the size of your head. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's good times. I love it. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. I mean, I'll make it, but I'm not paying attention very closely. Russian. Mm. No. Oh, my five-year-old actually fell in love with Joust after I got the Bratwurst controllers. He oh. hated the original controllers. So do I. They're yeah. Garbage. Yeah. They're trash. They hurt your hand after five minutes. Yeah. No, the Bratwursts are very good. Very awesome. good. And it looks like Retro Boys are going to be using the same case soon. Okay. So there'll be two people offering this style. Mm. Um, great case. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the Retro Boys use arcade-style um, joystick stuff, so mm. I'm sure it'll be very comfortable. Like, like the components and the hardware. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be just a difference in price at that point. Mm -hmm. Shipping and materials. It's also good in case one of them decides to <laughs> oh, stop selling. Whoa. Yeah, it's going to be down to the wire. But... Nice. Hi, Pixel. Hi, Hi cat. running cat. So what you should actually do is slow down right before a clump and then gun it. Yeah. Because then you get that clump right off the bat. Ah, little tip. Little tip. See, look, curves all well, the way. Yeah, you're right. Right at the beginning. Nothing but curves. Good amount there. Nice amount of passing. But you 
have to do. Ooh, nice. Put them all on the left hand side. Mm, nice. Love it. Love it. Metal Lunar 7. But when you're using your 2600 with RF on your CRT, the original <laughs> controller feels better. Ha 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 ha. Sure. It feels I'll more authentic. You. Authentic. <laughs> uh, the, the stiffness of those original joysticks, I just can't take. I've played with them enough in the 80s that I don't ever need, and the no. 90s, to not ever have to use them again. So that's all. Actually, in the 90s, I used my Commodore joystick, so I didn't need mm. to use those terrible joysticks. I'm sure some people are used to it. I can see them being good for maybe some games, mm. but they're just so stiff. They feel like they don't even move. They're so stiff. Like you're just kind of pushing the joystick to one side and it just clicks. Like it doesn't even click. It just, mm. It's just so stiff. I don't know. I hate it. I'll show them. Have you played them with them? Probably not. The original controllers? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I'll have to bring them out one day and you'll be like, ah, <laughs> this is impossible to use. I, I, I think I probably have seen them or played with them a couple of times, but. I knew it. It's going into, it's hard on the curve. It is hard on I, the curve. I'm still doing decent on the dark areas. You haven't hit the fog patch yet? It's not great, but it's fine. I think back then the original controllers were just designed for kids. They kind of feel that way because they're very so small. Very small. That's like what gives me cramps. Hand. Yeah. Very sturdy. Yeah. So I can see them being very hearty. Yeah. They lasted many years, so. Yeah. Yeah. Still around. And I think they did think about that because, you know, watching some videos in the Atari uh, 400 and it's wipeable keyboard, mm. I think they really thought about the ergonomics for uh, kids. Well, RC70 says a five-year-old literally can't use them. He couldn't push it in a direction without it falling out of his hands. Oh. Yeah. It has to be on a surface, though, too. Like, that's the uh. funny thing about a lot, of, a lot of joysticks. You kind of wanted them at height by a computer when you're playing. I don't know. Yeah. Unlike controllers, which are sort of meant to be sitting... Yes. Like, to hold in your hands. Joysticks were meant to be on a surface a lot of the time. Yes. Not all of them, but, like, like Certain the types. Atari 2600 ones, for sure. Okay, I'm going to use that same trick here. Kind of line up a bunch of guys so I can just pass them as soon as I get my next day and maintain a good speed. Smart. Because so then I get four right off the bat. There's a cat behind me. I know. Don't four. pay attention. Don't pay attention to the cat on day four. <laughs> He's there for moral support. He'll start licking your hair. Ignore him. No, he goes after my water and he actually has tipped it over onto my computer before. Oh, kitty. Oh, it's him. That yeah. Was Pixel. No, it was the gray cat. Go, go, go. You, I'll pet you. I've got you. He's I fine. I love you. He's fine. No, he'll still knock your stuff over. Uh, ooh, that's close. Okay, don't pay attention to the cat. The cat is a distraction. Yes, it is. The cake is at the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, cake's a lie. The cake's There's no a cake lie. at the end. I've made it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, go kins. go go! Bad Moral cat. Support. Moral support. Moral oh, support. Oh, he's purring. He's purring. Meow. All support. Meow. All support. Oh, oh, he's licking my hand. He is so excited. About my, you, me you, getting you're, to level you're getting five. To, to day five. Oh, that was close. Damn it. <laughs> RC70, oh god, our cat ate a straw and tipped a cup over the other day, what? but at least it was in the kitchen counter, not on an electronic device. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it's when they're around electronics, James gets very... Ooh, Ooh that was close. Very, very uh, nervous. Yes. Especially the, the gray cat likes to chew cords, so... Yeah. 
especially um, nylon wrapped cords in particular are his his favorite yeah it's it's god damn it gourmet cord isn't it oh, yes gourmet it's cord. the best cords ever oh, tasty it's the prime rib prime rib of electronic cords driving without your back lights, you'll get a ticket. <laughs> it's a closed course. No oh, kitty, you're spitting all over my hand. Is he drooly? Oh, he's just licking and licking and licking. <laughs> licking and licking. Yeah. He does like to do that. He does like to lick. Moral, moral cat support. Don't pay attention. Just keep going. Relax. Keep a passing. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. Don't listen to the noise. Just keep going. Still in the black. Atari's here for moral support. Just Pixel's here. just crashed twice. You just can't crash on day four. So close. I agree. 18. 18 away is really close. You had a good pace. Yep. Just needed a little bit more. Well, not crash twice. That's yeah, all. that too. You could crash once. Uh, yeah. You, you could cr crash once. You Here's don't care one. about day four. <laughs> yeah. You can crash once. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm petting you. Yeah, great pace. Yeah, I think yeah, the pace was. Was, was, was a good, decent pace. Yeah. Yeah. Fluffy cat, fluffy cat. Yeah. Big sucky cat, you know that? Ugh. Cat butt in the face. Yeah. Right. Right. Just the people in uh, Reddit. Mm -hmm. um, thread for Norm Macdonald <gasps> was like we're, we're, one of the questions like I'm what sure. uh, they're all saying oh this is one of those that celebrity deaths that hit me the most probably because it was out of nowhere well I think that's when, when you're shocked and you didn't even have a sense that he was sick Yeah, I think that's when people kind of people <sighs> said David Bowie as well because no, nobody knew his he was dying he was either. in a bad bad position too yeah, yeah. I mean, what does tend to happen is is sometimes they do let people know, but they, they let people know when they're close to the end. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, and, and I totally understand why that's private. Like, they're not going to let, they're not going to announce that they're sick if it's yeah. early days. But the fact that he was sick for nine years, they were saying, yeah. Yeah. that's a long time. Or ones that, or like people like Robin Williams were. Well, that's a different thing. It's a entirely. different thing, but that's also very sudden too. So people yeah. were obviously upset about that. But it was related to a diagnosis, a medical diagnosis too, with him. So. Uh, related, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm not sure how many people knew about that. I don't know if that was public either. So I, so. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember the exact. I don't get too tied up in celebrities. It's a shock, but it's not like oh, it's devastating. Like people got really devastated on Kurt Cobain and. I was, but I was uh, <laughs> a fan and a teenager at the time. But so. I mean, like, I don't know these people. Yeah, I, I know so what you're it saying. It's not like, yeah. oh my god, my life. Yeah, it's not like it's a, you have a personal connection to them. It's just, yeah. I should really try. I need 
these levels, even yeah. though it's very easy. The first level is like a nothing level. some cars. No, that's only two. Oh, oh, there's a nice. That's three. And I'll try and get a four. One, two. That's a nice one. Nice clump there. Mm. It's hard to pace them. Well, yeah, you're still in the black, too, so you, so you have a little ways to go. Boop, 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 boop. There. Oh, okay. I've got the perfect pace. Look at that. That's Finally great. got it. Ready for the number. As soon as it hits 300. Oh, they took off. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Ooh, so I lost it all. you just lost it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Don't get past him. Careful. Catching my tire on. Yeah. RC seventy. Kurt Cobain and Brandon Lee were my teenage heartbreaks. Yeah. Mm, Brandon. Uh, Lee. Brandon Lee. Yeah. Now it sucks, but it doesn't feel so life altering. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When you're a teenager, everything's a little bit extra. <laughs> I mean, I only knew Brandon Lee from The Crows. So yeah. Yeah. I was like, mm, okay. But actually, he died I on the crow, so that I, I knew he, he was too? dead before he even oh, no, saw it. Oh no, no, it was on the original. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. So I, I knew he was, he was dead before I even saw them. Yeah, either. yeah. So I didn't really know him at all. So it wasn't. It's just a sad, a sad story, though. Yeah. I yeah. Maybe George Carlin. Passing that, was, that was upsetting because it was, like, was, he was bit... so so funny, and I enjoyed yeah. every ex ex except for his last special is like it's not as good as normal. Yeah. Um, but he passed away shortly after his last special, right? I believe. So. Yeah. yeah. Threaded that needle. Yep. Right. There's no cars there, just lights. Just <laughs> lights. Yeah, it's true. They turn into just lights. I do love the lights, though. I think that's just Such awesome. Such a great and Concept. simple effect. Yes. So simple. You're just yeah. changing the sprite look of it. But it uh, didn't change anything else except the look of the sprite. Mm. I mean, with celebrities, the only thing you're like, you don't know them so that the only thing that you're sad about is they won't be doing more of what, what you what like you, them you, to what do. What you love, yeah. Yeah. I was sad, I think, when Heath Ledger passed away. Because I always really mm. liked him as an actor. And that was also something that just came out of nowhere. Um, and River Phoenix, I remember that too. Mm. When River Phoenix you know they announced that he was found dead and that was really sad i think when it's someone young and it's unexpected it has more of an impact because you're not expecting oh, oh my god no. i'm gonna die in level two. Oh no 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 you can do it you can do it no i can't yeah yeah you can 30 oh not a, not if you do that no <laughs> that's it for tonight <laughs> if i'm getting worse yeah yeah I like that little notch in the side of the road that passes every now and then just to give a little variety. Yeah. Yep. You're not trying again? No, no. You're so Obvious. close. Well, that wasn't that No, close. it was terrible. Yeah. Obviously, when I get worse, 
that's when you stop. Okay. Because you're only going to get worse and worse oh, and worse. So close. 18 away from level, oh, from day five. It's not an easy patch it's to get. Not. I think I'm going to switch to another oh, game. For the next one? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Probably go for an easy one like uh, um, Pitfall 2. <laughs> Um, Crackpot is damn hard. Hero was damn hard. Kaboom. Maybe I can get Kaboom. It's a fast, it's a fast turnover. Yeah. So you can practice really fast on yeah. it. Um, I've got the first one in Robot Tank. First one in Dolphin. I know, that, I know the second one's difficult in Dolphin. Mm. Uh, I think I've got the first one in Star Master as well. Hmm. Um, I think I was really close, close in Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Remember? It's oh, a, just pattern memorization, but it's yes, really fast. Yes, it is really fast. Um, dragster Ooh. is is like what is it? Five seconds at a time. <laughs> so it's very fast game. Mm. It only lasts five gotcha. seconds. It's all the racing games that are left. Yeah. Racing and paddle games. I'm obviously terrible. Um. <laughs> Space Shuttle is going to be an undertaking. So what is it? Because you have to print out an overlay for your your 2600. Really? Because it's got, it uses all the controls on the 2600 oh. for different mechanisms oh. in the Space Shuttle. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Is Star Master multi-patch? Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah, I so think I've got the first one. You got the first one. I'm almost certain I have the first one. Yeah. I think you get... There's mm. three for Star Master three at least. Mm least two or three um robot laser blast is the first one's not too bad the full patch is terrible it's four and a mm. half hours it's probably going to be the last game i ever do wow four and a half hours i believe you have to get a million points <gasps> oh my goodness um it's wow. terrible <laughs> a million the points would be, take a long very time. last game i'll do yeah I think decathlon is a bit long because you have to do multiple. You have to do ten. Yeah. Ten. Gold medal decathlete yep. Canadian this year at the Olympics. Oh. Just pointing that out. We could do it. We could do it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, that's it uh, for tonight. Did after dark? Did a normal dark? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Less than dark. The last game you ever do. <laughs> no. Yeah. Last game. Last patch activision patch game mm. real patch game that mm. i do yeah uh so oh we're not gonna be on the air on the 24th which is still a ways away actually it's next friday it's not, next friday not this friday next friday yeah, or tuesday it's just the so next friday yeah. we will not be on the air that day yeah but every other day is fine yep we will be around yeah mm gotta really start doing the um awards awards mm. really get on getting on that yeah i mean it doesn't take much but i have to do a bunch of stuff mm. like there's not it's not length of time it's just a bunch of stuff yeah um links games are confirmed trophies will happen mm. we've got we've got um some uh sponsors confirmed which is good Time flies. Time to think about the awards well, again. Yeah, it moves quick. It, it moves is. quick. Yeah. yeah. There's not enough games for Jaguar this year again, unfortunately. I think there's like only like a handful, maybe four or five. Mm. I saw, I looked in their forums. It's very sparse. Um, I, I know there's a bunch of work in progress, but it needs to be about 10. I think t 10 is the minimum to mm. have to be qualified for an award category hmm. i was like who posted that if you enjoy the content it's <laughs> my autobot your auto roll out um, <laughs> yeah links i think jaguar is the only one we're missing really yeah out of the classic mm. atari we've got 8-bit oh. 5200 merged yeah 2600 7800 mm -hmm. now links um yeah that's it that's all the, just the jaguar just the jaguar left so they mm -hmm. need to ramp it up but i don't jaguar was never super popular so i don't know if it'll ever 
reached that saturation point yeah of enough homebrew to give an award so it there either has to it either has to be popular or there has to be something about coding for the system that intrigues people or 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 is interesting i guess yeah yeah Hmm. or you know that population age population coincides with coding ability um where the jaguar was popular it's oh like yeah. popularity plus 20 years and i don't know when the jaguar came out don't know very much about the jaguar um hmm. so we'll have plus to see 20 years plus 40 i think that's years. usually 40 <laughs> yeah. 40 is a like peak time because well, that's right now yeah that's true. For the 2600. For the 2600. It's almost 45. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. when it came out. From, yeah. Not its peak popularity. Peak popularity was like 82. Mm. 81, 82, 83. Mm-hmm. When the Activision games were like really high just before the crash. Mm. So, yeah, that's almost 40 now. So, yeah, 40 would be like peak, peak. Mm-hmm. And maybe 35, 30 for coding. I don't know. NES gets a lot of coding. Yeah, NES it was a very popular system. Yeah, that helps too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Friday. So everybody enjoy their week. Um, back with Darcy. It's at noon. Yep. So not the late. It's the early day. Mm-hmm. Hi, kitties. So thank you for tuning in. Metal Lunar, RC70, Vitoko, 8-Bits, Charles Wheeland. Um crossbow who else oh, d-train d-train was an early uh, uh, cafe man 2d D. Yeah. i Anybody think else? yeah those are the toko after darks right. <laughs> yeah it doesn't have time stamps there because i don't want to have time stamps no because it takes up too much room yeah that'll be easier very cool. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you everyone for joining. That's it. Yeah. It was a fun night. Yeah. And um, yep. it's always great to chat with you guys. Rendered Ghost. Rendered yes. Ghost. Yay. Oh, put in the Atari cat right yep. at the end. Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully you got lots of work done crossbow while uh, listening to us. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Friday Yeah. with some more games. So tune in then. Mm-hmm. So thanks, and oh, got the wiring done and the UAV burning in now on that 7800. It. It's good, yeah, it's good to let things run to make sure yeah. they work. Not just go flick, yep, works. Yeah. Off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a good night, everyone. Yeah, good night. Uh, Thank see you on you. Friday. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.